Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2012 episode review. This one's going to be for Season 2, Episode 21, Plan 10. And yeah, overall I thought this was a good episode. I didn't think there was anything like amazing about it. Um, has a lot of the problems that I've had with a lot of episodes this season in that very little plot in it in terms of like adding to the main story going on this one added a little bit more than a lot of the, the other episodes I've had issue with but it seemed like the actual plot in the episode was just a way for them to reveal this little bit of uh, information instead of it like being a big focus and um, as I kind of speculated last week uh, I had a feeling that the end of last episode wouldn't continue into the start of this one the whole drama of the kind of uh, dummy Karai exploding and um, the turtles seemingly being in danger, but no, they just start this episode and it's fine, no mention of Karai whatsoever, but I sort of expected from this show at this point in time. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, the, the whole idea of this being basically like, you know, your brain switching episode was uh, interesting, bringing the Krang back into things for the first time in a while. That was cool, and you know, it, basically getting a little bit of a raf focused episode out of it, and like he was the one that got his brain switched. Um, I think the main issue I have with the episode is just that, even though they gave this thing to Raph, it didn't really give him any sort of character development. Um, in terms of you know, like him having to adapt, like it wasn't like a huge thing him adapting to the crying body or him having to really alter his style like that much and there was no real character focus on anything he was doing in the crying body or uh, the crying being in the Raphael's body it was just an event that happened uh, one of many that's going to happen and in my opinion just a way for Raph to get into the crying layer and find out about their next invasion which in itself is like well, didn't you do an invasion last season? And then didn't you kind of do one this season already as well? Um, how are they going to make this different than the other one? Um, is what I'm a little bit concerned about. And they, they obviously have some setup here with um, uh, Donnie kind of being prepared. And that he has a, an idea for this big robot thing. And that's going to be interesting. But where's the where's Shredder going to play into this? Where's Kar Karai being in prison going to play into this? Where's Splinter going to play into this? Um, look, we, we've got five episodes left in this season and I have no idea what the end amazing plot is going to be, the finale plot is going to be. Other than the fact there's an invasion going on, there's probably going to be a big breakout attempt with Karai or something like that. I, I'm not sure. It's looking like it's going to be extremely similar to the last finale. Um, I can't see them, at least right now, I assume they're going to try and do a lot of different stuff towards the finale. But right now it's set up almost identically to last season with a few changes. Um, obviously different uh, characters on each side. You know, a, you know, April's more of a focus with the Turtles right now. Um, Casey's with them and all this other sort of stuff but there's still a lot of ongoing stuff out there um, just all of these other villains and mutants all over the place uh, not really playing a role in the show but you know coming back to this episode um, as I said there's some funny moments just with Raph being in the crying body and um, them using the whole idea of you know, he struggles he knows how to speak like the Krang but he can't keep it up for a long time and then Krang not even attempting to talk like Raphael that, that was interesting um but you know th there wasn't really much to it it's just like there wasn't like a super secret like a oh the Krang have now found the turtle's base or anything like that it was just he's acting weird let's capture him oh wait he's not Raph and then Raph being in there, he calls them, and so they arrive immediately. Fight breaks out, brain switching happens. I like the joke of um, April and Casey switching bodies for, a for switching uh, minds for a while. That was interesting, uh, funny, but um, overall, as as I said, not really a massive amount to the episode apart from him, Raph Raphael finding out about the. Uh, Krang's next planned invasion I was getting to see Krang Prime again um, but who, who knows really what's 
exactly is going on here. I still have issue that they're not addressing the whole April thing anymore. Um, we got a little bit more on that kind of last season and a little bit more on it this season, that how special she is and stuff like that. But if there's an invasion and she has to get involved with the Krang again, I want some big development with this. I want um, her to deal with the fact that she's kind of a half mutant now and what's going on there. I want some resolution on a lot of this stuff going on. As I said before, this episode has so many episodes in each season that it's really like almost abusing the fact that it has so many episodes and it doesn't have enough content to put in this many episodes. Um, while Korra has like a, the other big show on Nickelodeon has half the amount of episodes that Turtles has in each season and you're kind of desperate for there to be more which is the kind of complete opposite than, than Turtles. Um, and you know th that's one of those things where like I am so excited going to every episode of Korra just because I know there's going to be a continuation I know stuff is going to happen in every episode that is not the case with this show at all just because it's very inconsistent with regards to if they're going to give you a plot episode if they do give you a plot episode if the next episode is going to address that plot and you know what characters are going to get involved and stuff like that there's so much kind of up in the air with this series that I don't really know what their kind of the aim is and, you know, they're confirmed into season 4 I think there are 26, 26, 26 and then 20 episodes for season 4 so they're, they're, they at least know that they're trying to cut down on some of the more kind of fillery type episodes later on but I'm just a little bit worried for season 3 now that season 2 is kind of not really addressed any of the big problems I've had with the series up to now. But I'll say it again, as I say, every time I have some issues with episodes, I still enjoyed this show. I didn't like turn it off halfway through because there's no plot. This show remains very fun. It's really well voice acted, very well animated. Um, and there is some interesting stuff going on. It just could be so much better. But uh yeah, I think that's my review for Plan 10, and um, there's not much else to really say um, in the episode, other than, you know, you know, five episodes left in the season. I hope they could have proved me wrong and do something really excellent, but uh, thanks for watching this review, and bye.